Welcome back to the Rum Narayan. So I know it's been a minute and we have not been around. She's right behind the camera. I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you her too. So we've been doing a lot, but um, really, I just wanted to give everyone an update on the peppers because you're probably wondering what happened to all the peppers. So let's take a look at some of these plants over here. So the Golden Cayenne has a lot of peppers on it. I haven't actually picked these peppers in a while, but more uh, so I'm excited about all these habaneros that are on the plant. So it just got done raining, but look at all of these habaneros that we're going to be picking off of here. They're looking really good. Uh, we're going to have to walk around so I can show you some of these bird peppers and also the red cayenne. So these are the golden ones, but the red cayennes have a lot on them too. So let's go over there and take a look. So this is the wife. Um, she's trying to catch one of these little things that are all over Florida. Did you get it? Look, there's one right there, a big one. Show them um, where you've been. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Uh, Look at the baby. Isn't he cute? He lost his toe. That's not good. Just now? <laughs> no. Oh, I was like, man. No. They're gonna, they're yeah, gonna no. ban us from YouTube. Isn't he cute? Yeah. Okay. He jumped. He's, he's out. I'm trying to help you, bro. <laughs> oh, that was a cute little baby. He was so cute little. <laughs> the sun just came out. That's one of the crazy things with Florida. It can rain. It can have sunshine. Sometimes the sun is out and it's raining at the same time, but. The red cayenne plant has a lot of peppers on it. So like I was saying before in my other videos, these aren't as fat or as thick as the other ones, but uh, spice level, they're about the same. I mean, I still do kind of feel like the golden cayennes are a little hotter, but maybe that's just all. It depends on, you know, depends on the person. I uh, still haven't decided what I want to do with them. Maybe we're going to dry them out, make a little powder so we can season foods or uh, possibly make another little pepper sauce video. Um, I'm still in the works of making a pepper sauce video with the habaneros. So I'm going to pick a few more of these. And once, um, once I get all of them together, we'll make a habanero sauce. Then these are the Thai peppers. So take a look at these. We have so many on this plant right here. And you'll see that Florida rain does have it quite bushy. So we have a lot of peppers on here too. And these are really good. You can like snack on these. Um, heat level, they're not too bad. I like them. Um, so, you know, when you're eating your food, pop one of these and just, you know, chew on them. They're really good. So, I have the other Scotch bonnet plant over there, but I moved this one over here just so you could get an idea of how large it's become and how much it has grown since I, um, I chopped the bottom pieces off to kind of like give it some more growth. So, take a look at the pepper now that we have it in the sunlight looks really good it looks really hot uh, matter of fact I'm actually gonna get this one off boom so this is the scotch bonnet peppers absolutely love these but here's a look at the plant uh, what I was saying there's a lot more peppers coming in real soon can't wait to see that harvest a little bit of more but thanks for checking this out again make sure you subscribe so you can see more peppers what we're doing what we've been up to the new place we're moving into 
And uh, check out this scotch bonnet. I can't wait to eat this one, maybe cook with it. So we're just going to get some of these off right now. Um, we're going to use the shears because these are harder to get off of the plant if you're just trying to like pull them back and break them off the plant like some of the other ones. So I like using the shears for these. And uh, Cool. So um, I'm just going to continue. I'm going to grab a few more off of this plant. And then once I get a, um, a good amount and I get all the red ones off, I'm going to check back with you guys and show you how much we actually did get off of here with our harvest today. Thank you guys for checking out the channel. So these are just some of the peppers we harvested. The scotch bonnet, the habaneros, the red cayennes, the golden cayennes. I didn't get a chance to take off um, all of these. This is going to take a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get all of these off the plant too. So make sure you comment down below. Let me know if you're growing any of these, um, what you want to see me do with these. In case you have any ideas, suggestions, uh, like the video, share the video. Check us out next time. We'll check you later.